Hey everyone, welcome to the floor. Day one at SEMA 2023 here in the Griot's Garage booth. We are excited to show you a bunch of our new products, give you a really brief introduction to them. And then of course, we're gonna follow up a couple weeks from now, give you demonstrations, but we're all ready to go. Yeah. We've got some cool- hiding out behind us. Got some cool stuff to show you. So we're gonna introduce these products really quick and you can leave your comments in the YouTube video that will be posted later today. So. Uh, follow up with us in a couple weeks. And if you want, all of these products have a webpage at griotsgarage.com where you can sign up to be notified as soon as they come into stock. Yeah, we'll be doing a follow up YouTube live where we demonstrate and tell you a little more in detail about all of these new products. But without further ado, let's get going. We've got everything right here behind us. Nick, do you want to start? Yeah, off so we've got a lot of liquids and a lot of hard goods, and we're just going to go through as fast as we can. And again, there will be more details on the products, individual web pages, and more demonstrations in the weeks to come. So first and foremost, our super concentrated car wash pods. Uh, pods are a pretty common technology in a lot of other household uses. We were able to work with our chemists and some of our uh, distributors to package them in a hyper-concentrated pod. Basically, it works similarly to the concept of pods. The goal here is to reduce waste and get you the right amount of car wash every time. So one of these pods can be simply thrown into a bucket, water added, and you have the right blend of concentrate uh, to wash your car by hand. You can also use them in foaming tools such as foam cannons or foam sprayers. You get 18 pods per pack. They smell great. They are pH neutral and just a wonderful addition to op and having some options so you don't yeah. waste your car wash. Uh, we are pretty excited about this. It's the first of what we believe to be an expanded line of concentrates and potentially more pod utility. But here they are, our super concentrated car wash pods. Yeah, adds tons of convenience, one pod per wash in the bucket and two per wash in a foaming tool. So those are pretty exciting. Next up, you guys have been asking about this one for a long time. We have the ceramic rinseless wash. So new addition to the ceramic family. As you'll see, we have a couple more additions back here as well. But ceramic rinseless wash, one ounce per gallon, uh, standard rinseless application, similar to our ceramic wash and coat. This will provide pretty durable ceramic protection, add life to a base coat of ceramic, or provide standalone protection on an unprotected surface. So great rinseless product to get you that functionality and ease of use in the rinseless application while also adding ceramic protection. Yeah. and. Uh there's not a lot of those type of products out on the market and the couple that we were benchmarking against weren't very functional. So yeah. we learned the a lot in the protection part. Yeah, is, yeah. Is questionable in some of them. Yeah. So. so we're pretty excited about that and we think you guys will love that as well. It's great timing for that as well with the winter yep. months coming we'll up. Winter. Want to boost your ceramic protection and do it indoors or wherever uh, you have to wash your car. Yeah. I think real quick too, I think you mentioned it already, but none of these products will be live for sale today. Um, as Nick said at the beginning, sign up on the email sign up on each specific web page to hear exactly when they're going live. Um, and we'll keep you updated on that as they get closer to actually actual launch when you can buy them off the website or order them online. Yeah, all, all in, however you want. All order. of them are pretty soon, right? Our yep. production facility is ramping up uh, at the end of the year with all of these new products. So they will be coming out in sequence as they are produced. So definitely sign up for the ones you're most interested in or all of them. All right, next up is our ceramic liquid wax. This replaces a longtime favorite in our liquid polygloss or polywax. Uh, basically our most durable ceramic protection in a abrasive free liquid formula can be applied by hand or machine. It is an excellent product in terms of finish enhancement and like we mentioned, durability, hydrophobicity, yep. all the characteristics you're seeking in uh, ceramic protection in an abrasive free, true finish enhancing formula. Yeah, even slightly more durable than ceramic three one wax. So pretty impressive durability with that, super hydrophobic as you've come to expect from all the ceramic line. Next up, we have the ceramic trim restore, which is exactly what it says it is, a trim dressing for uh, or a ceramic trim dressing for all trim surfaces. So any uh, uncoated rubber, plastic, primarily textured plastic um, that's on the exterior of your vehicle, but also works great on vinyl and plastics on the interior of, uh, interior of your vehicle, excuse me. So it can be used on all sorts of surfaces, door trim, uh, door moldings, exterior door trim, window trim, uh, belt line trim, the whole lot 
gives you a nice deep black finish, but it's not a dye, so you can use it on black or gray trim, even tan interior panels and such. Um, it gives you nice durable protection, great hydrophobic finish for all of those surfaces. And the, the restorative capability of this is pretty impressive. I'm pretty excited about that one. Yeah. And when you mentioned the interior aspect, like we all have little kids that kick the back of our seats. My Bronco has some hard plastics, the scuff marks that seem to come every time I take them somewhere. Yep. Ceramic <laughs> Trimmer Store really helps to level them out. I've enjoyed oh, using that product. Really easy to use, self-leveling, uh, all the rubber trim on like our old Volkswagen vans. And then uh, tires is another oh, great yeah, spot yeah, uh, to tires. use that product as well yep. for gel application, extremely durable, really nice finish, yeah, you know, not like overly glossy. to low gloss, depending on the surface you put it on. Extremely durable. Yeah. So that one's really easy to use. Uh, and we found that you don't really have to tape the areas that you're using it on as well. You can yeah. simply wipe off the excess if you're running into paint, uh, being a little careless off. with it. Yeah. So really love that one. We've got plenty of old weathered cars uh, that we always test our products on, but uh, that one was one where, you know, we do like half of a car and then have Richard come out and say, why'd you only do half? Like, do the, do the rest of it now. Like, <laughs> yeah, that video has some sweet before and after. Yeah, today. without a doubt. Uh, next up, plastic all-in-one. So this is an uh, area that is often neglected, your clear plastics. Uh, this product is going to be an all-in-one product, so features a mild abrasive paired with a protection package. We didn't deem this one a ceramic family product, but the protection package is the same ceramic intermediate that we have in a lot of our other ceramic products. So you're gonna, cure some of the oxidation that happens on those sensitive plastic surfaces and leave behind some UV resilient and hydrophobic protection. I found it to be awesome uh, with like older, softer plastics. Yep. And then we had some amazing results on things like polycarbonate, you know, windscreens, which they're still plastic, but people kind of try yeah, and come yeah, at you yeah. with different names for it. Um, but some, some great before and afters as we demonstrated that product and used it. So you might think, oh, plastic, there's not a lot of utility. When you start listing the things that need attention, such as gauge clusters, headlights, tail lights, um, yeah. your interior trim, Piano like black trim. older yeah. uh, carbon fibers that actually have a resin to them yeah. uh, that aren't clear coated. Glossy black B pillars. Man, there's, there's a lot of utility there. It's need and something that, yeah, it might be a little niche, but the results are impressive and we are really proud of that formula. Yeah, great way to remove swirls from plastic, which you see a lot, and it's really capable by hand. I know I've been super impressed by the capability by hand, also with the random orbital. And headlight like restoration is just a, you yeah. know, if you're not all the way there to needing to remove that, you know, dead coating, yeah, uh, just brightening it up really quick, this is a great product for that. With that. Next up, we have a new glass cleaner, so our foaming, glass cleaner, it's a trigger spray, uh, foam trigger. So it gives you a really thick uh, sheet of foam across the, the window or the glass surface and has really great cleaning capabilities. So this is excellent for exterior or interior glass. It is tint safe, ammonia free, of course, um, has a nice fragrance to it, uh, but gives you that foam clean so that you can get you know, longer working time. Great way to clean really dirty exterior glass. Um, also works on interior awesome streak-free product, easy to use. And the foaming aspect in the trigger is something that was new for us and, and pretty unique uh, industry-wide as well. So curious to see how you guys like this one. Gives you, you know, I'd say comparable foam to the aerosol. This is a little, uh, not quite as wide of a, a fan when you spray it out onto the surface, but it's probably a thicker foam buildup than uh, the kind of thin layer of foam that you'll get from the uh, ultra premium glass cleaner aerosol. Yeah, and I like the foaming aspect in particular when you're in a sensitive interior, you don't want a lot of fallout onto your high grade yep. leather um, or sensitive vinyls. So uh, I found that that is a really nice space for it, just the foaming application. And then the foam actually prevents a lot of over application because it spreads yes. quite easily. Yes. So if you have a really heavily soiled area, you can focus the foam on it or a simple you know, swipe of uh, the spray as you're moving across, say yep. like a, a passenger window. Uh, gives you enough material to do the entire glass surface without over applying, over saturating your towel leading to streaks. Yeah, so. a little goes a long way. And of course it's a glass cleaner, so you can use it around the house too. Yeah. So next up, we have revamped our fragrance line, which had gotten pretty thin. Uh, really our only offering outside of the stuff that smells good when you apply it to your interior yeah, was yeah. our leather scent. Uh, lo and behold, we have retained the leather scent. We've added some complimentary scents. 
Uh, we have a red line cherry. A lot of these are scents that you guys would be familiar with if you've used some of our liquid products. Uh, so you'll have to guess which products they came from. But uh, basically delivered in an eight ounce trigger. They do have odor neutralizing capabilities within them. And then we package them with a three pack of wafers. So you can saturate those wafers, put them in multiple cars. <coughs> from your Excuse rear me. View. So you've got rechargeable wafers in every um, fragrance that you select. We have five fragrances on offer currently, which will be Monkey Fuel, which is a nice tropical scent. JDM Squash, one of our most popular scents that we introduced in our uh, Brilliant Finish Snow Foam last year. Our fine leather scent, Redline Cherry, and then Light em Up, which is a scent that you'll be familiar and it has like a common industry name, but yeah. we think we've taken it to another level in terms of refinement and like sophistication, maybe not so teenager yeah. <laughs> type of a smell. So, not quite as obnoxious. <laughs> uh, we know you guys love the way our products smell. Now we've brought some of those scents into your interior uh, with the odor neutralizing tech as well. I think I've been impressed. Again, have a Very, lot of kids, yeah. dogs in my car, uh, it's one thing to have a high intensity fragrance that you spray and your car smells like that. It's another thing when that does fade and the odor that you were chasing is also gone. Yeah, I mean, covering an odor can sometimes make it worse so you get the combination. So no masking effect here, that odor neutralizing tech really wipes everything out. I know yeah. I've even you know used it after the kids create a little funk in the interior or you know old uh, mildewy smelling vehicles, situations like that, smoke, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, we've all been in a cab with a you know, handful of little trees and yeah. uh, uh, smoke odor, odor that won't go away and yeah. God, what the hell is this smell? Uh, that is not the experience here. We're really excited about that. So those will be coming out uh, as well. Again, sign up for any of these at griotsgarage.com to be notified when they come live. Uh, remember, we are not live now. We are going to be live in a couple weeks. So if you're interested in any of these products, we're going to be demonstrating them. Fragrance is a little hard to demonstrate. Yeah. You're going to have to trust us if you've used our products before. These fragrances are excellent. Yeah, no smell of vision yet. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, I'm uh, really excited about this one. We've been working on it for a long time. Some of you might be familiar with our old hand cleaner formula. This is a brand new industrial grade hand cleaner formula that we've been working on. Uh, really great product to clean up greasy, oily hands. Uh, it's a coconut oil base, so it leaves your hands soft and, and uh, protected afterwards, but has plenty of strength to cut through heavy grease and grime, oil, gasoline, diesel fuel, glues. Oh gosh, the list goes on, but it'll, it'll take just about everything off your hands. Uh, it has pumice additive mixed in there to give you that extra scrubbing capability, really get into the nooks and crannies of your skin. Overall, great product, doesn't dry out your skin, leaves them nice and soft afterwards and ready to go. Easy rinsing as well, which is nice. You don't want something that's gonna be slimy and difficult to rinse off in that process. Well, nice that doesn't too. dry off your hands too. Like we, yeah. we tested this with Griot's Motors who had uh, industrial strength hand cleaner that they were provided as part of like a sponsorship. Yep. And they kept asking us, give us more of that, give us more of that. Yeah. Because, so in our development, we definitely put it to the test with people that build and work on cars every day because our fingernails still stay pretty clean every day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, uh, there are those moments where you need a hand cleaner and we've always sold an excellent one. We've definitely stepped it up a notch uh, and are very proud of that one. Yeah, a lot of the other stuff out there uh, on the market, if you use it on a daily basis or even you know less frequently than that, like Nick said, you'll get that dryness and can lead to cracking and more pain than you want. So great way to get the hands clean and keep them that way. Yeah, so last year, we introduced our Boss Hybrid Micro Polisher. Uh, this thing has come out to rave reviews. We love this tool. I use it quite frequently. In fact, for some reason, it was the only tool I could use consistently on my Wagoneer because yeah. <laughs> I uh, found how little paint there is and how many body lines there are and how intricate they are. But we've added a couple different complementary elements. We've actually introduced a five millimeter backing plate. Uh, so this is an orbital pattern, even tighter than the standard 13 millimeters. So it's going to be ideal for even tighter spaces can obviously go one, two, three inch backing plate with it. They can drop into the tool. Uh, so this is an accessory that you can buy separately from the tool just to narrow down and make this even more of a precision instrument. Yeah, smaller footprint uh, on that five millimeter counterbalance. Also great for doing tasks like sanding headlights and things like that. And then finally, we have Long -awaited. our power inverter. We uh, debuted this concept last year with the tool 
However, in our initial development, we really sought some refinement. And so we delayed its introduction to make it that much better. But this is the vaunted hybrid inverter that we talked about that can allow you to run this cool or tool as a corded power tool, yep. same, except the same cord as all of our other machines. So this will be launching very shortly. Uh, and we're stoked that it is finally part of that dual power uh, concept that we had for this micro polisher when we brought it to market. So two new additions to this wonderful tool. Yeah, sweet functionality in that and the quick disconnect feature on the inverter keeps that convenience for you. So great way to go if you want to plug into the wall and not have to deal with charging batteries. Next up, bringing back our air pulse cleaning gun. A lot of you guys are familiar with this tech. Um, allows you to highly atomize any uh, ready to use cleaning solution or concentrates like our all purpose cleaner. Uh, great for cleaning gnarly interior surfaces, cloth upholstery, carpet. Um, can even use it on you know certain exterior surfaces like door jams and uh, wheel well suspension areas that are hard to get to, but highly atomizes the cleaning solution and blasts it at high pressure at the surface. You have a lot of adjustability. Um, adjust your pickup here and your air pressure regulator back here. Comes with a very nice swivel as well, so uh, avoids any pinch points and allows you to you know keep that air hose out of the way while you're using this tool. Of course, it does require an air compressor, so just wanna make that clear to you guys. Uh, but my favorite product to use is probably our interior cleaner um, with this one, but the citrus all-purpose cleaner is another great option in all those different dilution ratios that you can use with that. So sweet addition, bringing that back. Uh, we had one of those in the past, uh, but this one's, I think this one's a little nicer looking with the, Quite the a bit. black electro yeah. plating and um, uses the standard uh, whip style, so no bearing in there. Uh, if you're using it every day, you know, you will need to replace that eventually, but it's also a, a lower cost to you. And in my opinion, those are a little more effective uh, than the bearing style can be. Get up to speed faster. All right. Next up, we have, I'm gonna pull this one. Pretty excited about these. So you guys can see this a little better, but we have the Boss pressure washer gun. So this tool, uh, we've got a, a rod glued in there so that it can't walk away when we have it fully inserted into the display. But this is our uh, fully refined pressure washer gun. As you can see, similar to our, our orbitals, focuses heavily on ergonomics. You have the double shot rubber uh, grips throughout, uh, has a nice ergonomic shape to the trigger. And one of the things we really worked hard to dial in was the, the spring rate in the trigger. Some pressure washer guns you know, have a pretty heavy spring rate, uh, which is gonna cause a lot of fatigue when you're spraying off a whole car or doing multiple cars a day. So this is a, a lighter spring rate, so it's very easy to squeeze, uh, less hand fatigue, less soreness over the course of you know, multiple cars throughout the day. Has the uh, full stainless steel uh, manifold interior, as well as the stainless steel fittings on the outside. You have a swivel at the base, a 3 8 male plug that comes included, and then the quarter inch uh, female quick disconnect at the top to accept any pressure washer tips. Um, that you would normally put you know, for your rinsing process or a wand, which we're also working on. And that takes us right into the Boss pressure washer nozzles. So these are a shrouded nozzle coming in 15, 25 and 40 degree uh, spray pattern variants. And then you have two different orifice sizes for various pressure washers. So we have a two and a half millimeter set and a four millimeter set um, in all three sizes for each orifice size or all three spray patterns for each orifice size. The shrouded tip's gonna give you tons of protection when you're swinging your pressure washer gun around. Ensure that you're not you know, scratching or denting any painted surfaces or you know, allows you to get a little closer and be a little more confident that you're not gonna do damage there. And then the precise you know, spray patterns just gonna give you a very consistent spray, fully stainless steel construction, um, other than the rubber shroud, obviously. You have the nice have fun in your garage slogan there, uh, embossed into these as well. And then they're color coded. Um, so what you would normally expect from, you know, your yellow 15 degree, green 25 degree and white 40 degree nozzles that come with most pressure washers. Uh, so these give you a lot of functionality, a lot of safety. And then the two different orifice sizes, two and a half is gonna be for pressure washers uh, lower than two GPM. And the 4.0 will be pressure washers above two GPM output. So. 
lots of different versatility there depending on which pressure washer you have. Yeah, pressure washer game stepping up for sure. Yeah, trying to complete that line and give you guys a full solution. Uh, so more accessories to come in that category. And then lastly, this one's secured to the display, so I can't pull it off, but we have our Boss paint thickness gauge. Uh, this is a precision paint thickness gauge, does ferrous and non-ferrous metals. Um, won't do plastic, but will do aluminum and steel. Paint gauge is a great tool to have if you're doing a lot of paint correction or sanding jobs. Um, just gives you the ability to really understand that paint surface and, and areas that may have been refinished or repaired. Um, older paints, you know, classic vehicles. Also a great tool to use if you're buying and selling cars a lot. You know, it can help give you indications that a buyer or that a seller may not be giving you um, according to the history of the, the paint finish, yeah. as well as, you know, allow you to know truly what you're, what you're getting into, what you're purchasing. Yeah. You know, show's getting started. I think that's our cue. <laughs> yep. Well, thank you everybody for tuning in. We're going to be back in a couple of weeks to show off all these products actually live. Yep. And cool we demos. hope to see you here. We are booth this in the West hall. Uh, booth number 52163. So come see us, come say hi. We've got some samples uh, and we Lots would love samples. to see you and uh, show off the car that Grios Motors built, which is a beautiful Mark II GTI. Uh, and they are in the Battle of the Builders along with a Jeep that Richard built, yep. a full-size Jeep, a 78 Thanks, Cherokee sweet. Chief S. Oh man, that thing is crazy. So you'll see that in Hot Rod Alley, J-Rod Custom built that car. So yeah. If Thank you, you for joining yet, us. Subscribe, hit the notification so you don't miss the follow-up video. And, and go to griotsgarage.com yep. and be Sign notified on when emails. these products get into stock. We're really excited about them, Sam, and everybody on the product development team and everybody throughout Griot's Garage has been working super hard to bring these to market. So we're gonna, you're going to see them soon, and uh, we'll let you know when you can get them, and we'll see you in a couple weeks. Yeah, they're coming.